Hi everybody, this is Janet D, the PT. As a licensed physical therapist, as well as a certified dementia practitioner, I work with families who have a relative who was diagnosed with dementia. And then they often ask me or wonder, well, how, how did we get to this point? What happened? Where were the warning signs? Well, today's video is all about that. The five dementia warning signs in conversations. Okay, you ready? Number one, retreat or withdrawal from conversations. So they tend to be more of a spectator in conversations, especially in group settings. You will see that they're sitting there but not fully engaged in the conversation, okay? They tend to only speak when spoken to and that is warning sign number one. Okay, warning sign number two is masking a conversation, okay? Now, this is for those individuals where you're like, no, nah, so-and-so can't have dementia. Like, they, they say all the right answers. But if they're answering with general statements like, whatever works for you, or that's fine, that's good, that is a masking statement, okay? A general, you know, a general statement like that is usually one with agreement and could be a warning sign of dementia. Okay, warning sign number three is if they change the topic or not answer the questions that they are being asked, okay? So you may interpret it as, oh, that's kind of a sore spot or a sore topic or something where um, maybe they didn't hear me. It could be a, a hearing loss, right? Mm, no, it, it could be the delay in the processing between what is being brought in through the input of the words and then that individual trying to process those words and then to come up with an adequate response or even a correct response, if there is that delay or not answering those questions, that could be a warning sign of dementia in conversations. All right, dementia warning sign number four is if somebody is answering questions with a yes or no response. Okay, so if they're not able to come up with the words to have the conversation, they may just be trying to end the conversation as quickly as possible by saying yes or no to what is being communicated to them. Okay, so that's another warning sign to kind of look out for. Okay, number five, the fifth dementia warning sign in conversations includes if somebody spoke another language, if they start to revert back to using words from those other languages or reverting back to statements about their parents or people from the past, people who have died, that is definitely a warning sign and a progression of dementia in conversations, okay? You know something? This is going so well. I'm going to throw in a bonus one. Okay, another indicator of dementia in conversations is if they disengage from a party or a conversation. And this is something where in a social situation, there's 
most likely food involved, okay? If they are not going to get their food, if they are not really eating the food off their plate, you know, kind of like picking around at it, or if you are seeing a visible weight loss, that is definitely a sign of something going on, okay? So, if you really enjoyed this video, go ahead and press like, share, subscribe, tell your friends and neighbors, Janity the PT.